What's up guys, I hope you're doing well. This is Steven Gattaletta with the Self Fulfillment Project. And in today's video, I want to talk about self-consciousness. Is it a gift or is it a curse? And do we have control over which one it is? I would start this off by saying we're the only species in the world who can are aware of ourselves, but there's actually been some interesting studies um, uh, with dolphins, actually. It was noticed um, through trainers at an aquarium or a zoo that um, when they put a mirror in the water, dolphins recognized that it was themselves. <laughs> Unlike many other animals that when they see a reflection of themselves, they automatically think and act like it's another animal. But to test this, they actually put a mark. Um, they brought a dolphin up to the surface, you know, like they do in shows, and they, with a little marker, I, I believe, drew something on the side of uh, the dolphin's face. And the dolphin immediately went down to the mirror that, that was placed beneath the water, and he checked himself, the side uh, that he was marked on, to look. Again, I'll put that link in the description. That has nothing to do with this video. I thought it was just something interesting to share and the reason that I'm not gonna say we're the only species who are aware of ourselves because that doesn't seem to be the case. But we are certainly aware, unlike many species. And is this something that is good or bad? Is this the gift or the curse? This is like the apple, right? Adam and Eve ate the apple and everything was revealed to them. In the same way, our, that's our self-consciousness, is our apple, right? We're aware of everything about ourselves, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. <laughs> and we can take this two ways. It's, it's what's known as the self-awareness theory, and there's no reason to call it a, a theory because I think majority of people are aware intuitively of what this is. Um, I think that's a flaw with psychology much of the time. They just give fancy words to things that people know intuitively. Either way, the self-awareness theory says that when we're self-reflective, when we're aware of ourselves, another word for self-consciousness, aware of ourselves, we become aware of two things. We become aware of where we are in relation to where we want to be. And we call this our actual self versus our ought self, right? Where we want to be, our, I'm sorry, our ideal self. And this can have a positive or negative consequence. So I'm reflective on myself. I realize that I am not where I want to be. My actual self is not in line with my ideal self, where I see my greatest potential. And so I can take this in one of two ways. I can become very depressed, feel inadequate, and decide to turn my attention away decide to not be self-reflective and change my actual self and I distract myself through various ways and the greatest of these, the worst of these distractions comes in the form of addiction, eating disorders, you name it, anything to completely keep our minds busy doing something else. And of course it's not always this bad but it can lead to that. And the positive effect of this self-awareness realizing our actual self is not in line with our ideal self is that we take action to change that. That we decide to remain self-reflective even though it may be painful to realize we're not where we want to be but we'll take the action to get there. We'll make the necessary changes in order for our actual self to become our ideal self. And one of the greatest determining factors of whether we will decide to distract ourselves and not change our actual self or stay focused, stay self-aware and try to change our actual self to our ideal self is whether we think it's possible, how much we believe in ourselves. What is the probability that I can actually make these changes? That's one of the greatest determining factors of whether we will do that. And a lot of this comes from just believing it's possible, believing we have the capabilities and I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure there are times in your life where you have done something and wonder how the hell you just did that. Because it defied all your previous expectations or thoughts on what you could accomplish, you know? And we need to do these things more often. We need to put ourselves out there in situations where we might fail because we will overcome things that we didn't realize we could and our self-confidence will rise 
that much higher. And we'll realize we're capable of so much more because we are capable of so much more than we think. So the whole idea is to build up this confidence so that when you are reflective on yourself, you realize my actual self is not in line with my ideal self. Instead of being shied away from that, we stay focused, even though it may be uncomfortable to realize I'm not comfortable with who I am, I'm not where I want to be. But we're self-confident enough to know I can make these changes and become that ideal version of myself. So that is how self-consciousness or awareness can be either a gift or a curse. It can be a curse if we decide not to change anything and distract ourselves and become numb. Or it can be a gift because we're aware of what we can do, of what we can become, of the amazing things we can do. And all we need is that self-confidence and that belief in ourselves that it can come true. So that's it guys. I hope this video helped. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, leave a comment. I try my best to respond to them all. Take it easy.